Garlic has been used since ancient times to treat a variety of medical conditions. No, no, we're not going to talk about this garlic, haha. But how surprising is it that a single AI model can boost user interest by over 40% in just a few weeks? OpenAI's new Garlic AI is creating exactly that kind of buzz with its claims of faster thinking, sharper reasoning, and smarter coding. So what makes Garlic so different? And why is it suddenly the model everyone is talking about? The tech world shifts fast, but the last few months felt even faster. Google's Gemini 3 suddenly exploded in popularity when its monthly active users jumped from 450 million in July 2025 to 650 million in October 2025. That sharp jump put serious pressure on OpenAI, especially because ChatGPT was still leading with huge weekly users but needed to stay ahead. This rise created a moment where OpenAI had to move quickly before the gap between the two platforms narrowed. This situation pushed OpenAI into an internal emergency phase known as Code Red. During this phase, teams paused smaller projects such as ChatGPT advertising features, shopping-related agents, health and wellness tools, and the Pulse Personal Assistant project. Everything shifted to only two priorities, improving the current ChatGPT experience and speeding up the launch of Garlic AI. Many viewers may relate to moments where a company stops all side tasks because one mission becomes more important than everything else. That is exactly what happened here. Before Garlic entered the spotlight, OpenAI was working on another major project called Shallot Pete. This model started in October 2025 with the goal of matching or beating the performance of Google's growing AI models. However, Shallot Pete ran into deep structural problems during the pre-training stage which is the early part of model development where huge amounts of text and knowledge get processed. Even after many adjustments, the main issues stayed the same. Instead of patching these old issues, OpenAI decided to begin a fresh project from scratch. This new approach kept the objective but removed the messy architecture, leading to the birth of Garlic. Garlic used lessons learned from Shallot Pete but followed a cleaner, stronger foundation. This allowed the new model to be trained more efficiently and made room for major upgrades in performance. Pre-training is where a model learns language, facts, logic, patterns, and reasoning. Older systems, including earlier GPT versions, followed one basic strategy, learn everything at once. That approach caused several issues because the models tried to memorize small details too early, which overloaded memory, extended training time, and made knowledge storage less organized and less efficient. Garlic changes this method completely by using a layered learning system. The process starts with broad, general knowledge, allowing the model to learn overall patterns, high-level logic, and structural behavior before touching any tiny details. After the big foundation is clear, Garlic moves to smaller details such as facts, fine patterns, and deeper text learning. This shift became a huge improvement in how information is encoded and stored. Mark Chen, OpenAI's chief research officer, even described this new style as a major transformation in model design. The outcome is impressive because Garlic reaches performance close to GPT 4.5, even though its architecture is smaller. This means more knowledge stored per parameter, faster responses, lower cost to use, and better efficiency for developers. A quick question to viewers. Who wouldn't prefer a smaller AI model that works faster and still thinks smarter? Garlic is especially strong in coding. Internal reports show that it outperforms Google's Gemini 3 in tasks like code generation, debugging, multi-file reasoning, and solving technical problems that need multiple logical steps. Tests such as SWE Bench and Human Eval are expected to reflect these strong results once numbers are officially released. Garlic also performs better in reasoning tasks compared to Claude Opus 4.5. It handles multi-step logic, advanced math, strategy-based questions, problem breakdown, and long reasoning chains more reliably. Benchmarks like GPQA and ARC are expected to show these improvements clearly when updated. Industry predictions suggest Garlic may score above 80% on SWE Bench Verified, which puts it right in the top tier. Early projections also show strong potential on difficult benchmarks like Humanity's Last Exam and MMMU Pro. 
Even though some numbers are still under review, the overall early response points to Garlic being one of the strongest AI models in both coding and reasoning. One of the most noticeable features of Garlic is its efficiency. Instead of making the model larger like many previous versions, OpenAI focused on using parameters more effectively. This design gives Garlic several advantages including faster response speeds, reduced cost per request, smoother performance on normal consumer hardware, and quicker deployment for large companies. For teams handling thousands of AI requests per hour, this level of efficiency can bring major savings. When a model is smaller but smarter, every operation becomes lighter and more manageable. Garlic brings several improvements that feel especially helpful for engineers. It has strong multi-file understanding, allowing it to read and modify code across multiple files while keeping track of how everything connects. This makes it reliable when dealing with large projects. Garlic also gives guidance at an architectural level. Instead of only helping with small tasks, it can suggest how to organize components, where to refactor sections, and how to improve the overall logic flow of a system. Another important strength is debugging. Garlic does not just fix mistakes. It explains why a bug exists, where the root issue began, and how the fix solves the problem. Many developers describe this as having a second engineer sitting beside them. To the developers watching this, has debugging ever felt like the most time-consuming part of coding? Garlic aims to make that part smoother. Garlic can also perform large-scale code transformations. This means it can refactor thousands of lines while keeping the structure intact, which is helpful for migrations, restructuring, cleaning old code, or managing big updates. Garlic is useful in many areas. In software engineering, it can help with building new features, fixing bugs, guiding architecture decisions, and assisting with large-scale code reviews. In DevOps and IT infrastructure, it can generate infrastructure as code, review pull requests, explain failures, and suggest automated fixes. In data analysis, Garlic can study multiple datasets, generate reports, highlight trends, and perform statistical reasoning. In AI operations, it can handle automated workflows, manage decision chains, and assist with process optimization. Shallot Pete began in October 2025, but ran into issues. On December 1, 2025, OpenAI declared code red and made Garlic the top priority. The next day, on December 2, benchmarks and internal details of Garlic started surfacing online. From December 2025 to January 2026, Garlic continued through testing and safety evaluation. Its expected public release is early 2026, around January or February, and the version name may be GPT 5.2 or GPT 5.5, depending on final decisions. Before launching Garlic to the public, OpenAI teams are adding post-training improvements, running safety evaluations, preparing API integration, writing documentation, and optimizing enterprise performance. Mark Chen stated that the release will happen as soon as possible, mainly because of the competitive environment and the tight timelines set by the code red phase. Garlic isn't a one-time upgrade, it introduced new training improvements that will shape future models and speed up OpenAI's development cycle. Teams using Garlic must consider API stability, pricing, migration ease, real-world performance, and the cost savings from faster inference. Garlic is especially valuable for heavy AI workloads, complex reasoning tasks, high-volume support operations, and large engineering code bases. It marks a major milestone with better training, stronger reasoning, and faster performance driven by competition from Google and Anthropic. Before ending, which upgrade feels most useful to you? Coding, reasoning, or speed? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.